I want to show you how to set up our personalized photo sets. Um, as you can see here in this particular birthday set, there are eight signs that you will receive. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to get started staking them. Okay, as we get started here, we'll use five H6, which you'll see right here, a pair of bolt cutters. These are 24 inch. You can use 18 inch, 12 inch. Um, the longer, it's just easier to cut the, um, the H stakes, which is what we're going to use them for. Um, then we have some step-in stakes. These are four foot tall step stakes. You can pick these up at um, Tractor Supply fairly cheaply or Home Depot. Uh, we'll use those to secure the tall photo so the wind doesn't blow it over. And then go ahead and get yourself some tape. Um, we've just got some plain old duct tape here. A lot of people use um, the crystal clear Gorilla Tape. That works really well. Um, and a pair of scissors. Okay, let's get started. For the sake of time, I've gone ahead and cut two of the H stakes in half. You can see those here. So now we've got four short stakes. That leaves us with three of the tall H stakes. And we'll use those three stakes. Let's just look over here. Um, to secure the photo, one for the photo and one for each balloon bouquet. And then the four short stakes we will put along the bottom here. And I will show you how to do that next. So we're going to start by putting our short H stakes in. Um, those are the ones that we just cut in half. And we will put one in either of the present bundles on either side and we will put two into the big um, name display. Okay now we're going to show you how to place the stakes into the flutes on the coroplast. So let me just kind of get in here uh, just so that you can see. We're going to line them up so that they just slide in easily and you want to make sure that they're not pulling on either side and if you've got these in there in the right um, in the right flutes it'll slide in there very easily. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add those to all of our signs and then we can get staking into the ground. So we've got all of our signs staked now. Um, the three signs on the bottom have the short H stakes that we cut in half. The three on the top have the tall H stakes. Um, and you can see I want to make a note of this that I've left a little gap um, there. What that's going to allow you to do is to step it into the grass and then you can simply push those presents down until they reach um, the, the top of the grass. So let me get started and show you what that looks like. So here's a bit of an upside down view but we're going to stake the name sign first and then we will build around that. So. Um, you can see here, we're going to just start by pressing into the ground there, get a little bit on the other side, and just go back and forth until you get it pretty even. And then you can just push your sign down, and let's walk around and see what that looks like. Here's what the bottom of the sign, the bottom row of the sign looks like once you've got the three pieces staked on the bottom. And let me show you what this looks like in the back. You can see that we've just pushed them into the ground. The presents are behind the name sign. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to put our photo. We're gonna line that up in the middle and I'm gonna show you how to get that staked on these step-in uh, fence posts. Now we have the photo sign uh, staked in there and that sits very nicely. Let me show you how we did that. Let's take a walk around the back here. This is where these uh, step-in fence posts just come in so handy. Um, so let me see if I can slide in here a little bit. You'll see on the H stake here that I, on the bottom rung, I've gone up three rungs on that step stake and I've pushed that um, 
push the steak in and I did the same thing on the other so you can see how that's nicely secured and then if we come to the back you'll see on the one two three down we put the top of that H steak in there to really secure that and this is very this is very sturdy this will hold up nicely in the wind all right let's show you how to put the finishing touches on here we go here is the finished setup uh, you can see that we've got all eight of our signs staked let's go take a look around the back so that you can see exactly what we did here So you'll see that we've got the photo sign. We've got that connected on the step-in stakes. Uh, and then we positioned the balloons on the tall H stake on either side. And you'll see I used that white duct tape just to uh, secure it to the sign, the photo sign on either side. And for the candles, those are simply taped to the back of the name sign. It's a little hard to get in here. Let me see if I can show you better. But you'll see it. it's just taped to the back. They're, they're so lightweight, um, those aren't going anywhere. So you'll see maybe we've got about four inches in between the bottom row and the top row. And there we go. There's our finished personalized photo birthday set. So for reference, it's a, it's a pretty windy day here. If we look up, you'll see the signs getting a little action there, but they really hold up. They really hold up very well. And the secret um, are the four foot step in fence posts. So again, a couple of bucks each absolutely worth the cost. Enjoy folks.